Hello everyone, welcome to lesson six of our phase five phonic sounds. We're going to start the lesson by going back through the activity that we left you with last lesson. So if we take a look back at that, you can see here that you were looking at the words and then matching them up, say the word aloud so that you can match them up with the words that are here all featuring the E sound. So I've written them on here already so that you can check your work from yesterday. So the first picture, of course, is a seagull. So we can see the E sound. Second picture shows that they're speaking. So it's speak and that's a teapot. And then we have wheat. Some of these you might not be too familiar with, but hopefully using the list that you had across here helped. This is a leaf. And here we have jeans. This is meat, as in we eat, not when we meet up with people. This is a peach. And then this is showing with the arrow that it's pointing at the east. Then we have tea, the beach, and then this girl is, is having a dream. OK, so hopefully you got all of those and we're able to read all of these words from the word bank or going through the E sound that we looked at in our last lesson. OK, so we are just going to have a look at what we're focusing on today. But firstly, we'll start with our um, flashcards. So as usual, we'll go through the flashcards um, I'll show them to the screen and then you can um, give you a few seconds before I say the sound. We'll recap on some from phase three and then we'll look at the ones that we've already um, focused on in phase five. Qua. Ch. Ch. Or mm. Mm. A E I O Oi O or A uh, How R Air, ear, uh, uh, or your, a, ow, I. E, oi. Okay, right, we'll go back through those very quickly. I'm not going to say this time and see if you can be as quick as I go through the cards. Are you ready? Well done if you've got all of those ones. That's getting very, very quick with those, aren't we? Let's see if we can get quicker and quicker. So let's have a look what we're going to focus on in today's lesson. So we're now on to our lesson six of our phase five sounds. Today we're going to be focusing on the oi sound. You might have seen that snuck in there in the flashcards. So in phase three, we already looked at a way of making the oi sound using the O and the I. 
And we found that we often use that in the middle of words. So now we're going to have a look at a different way of doing an oi sound. This comes in our phase five sounds instead. So no, not to confuse us, I'm gonna rub that one out. Our focus for today is this oi sound. So we're still beginning with the O, but we need a Y with it this time, the letter Y, and that makes the oi sound. Okay, we, we'll have a look at some words in a moment, but we often find this oi sound at the end of a word. Okay, so you have a practice writing it with me on a piece of paper or a whiteboard if you have one. So first of all, we make the O. And then we need the second letter, there's a digraph. Those two letters together make the OI sound. Okay, well done. Let's look back at our screen. We had a go at writing it. Now I can have a think. If you can think of any words that you've come across, maybe you can see any around you, or you've when you've um, having a look out the window outside. Can you see anything that has the oi sound in the word? Stop the video to have a little think. Okay, right. We're going to look through some together now using the oi digraph. So first word with the sound buttons, b, oi, boy, t, oi, toy, j, oi, joy, full of happiness. Hmm, this one's a little bit different. The oi sound does, be, does come at the beginning. So with our rules, they're not always hard and fast rules. Sometimes they do change slightly. Usually it comes at the end, but this one is at the, mid, it's at the beginning. Oyst, uh, oyster, that's a seafood, a bit yucky, I think. R, oi, roy, so that's a person's name. It's got a capital letter at the beginning. Oh, we've got a longer one here, so we might want to chop this one up a little bit. So let's look at the first part. D, est, dest, r, Oi, just like the one we just looked at, Roy. So I put those two chunks together, destroy, destroy, like in battleships. Ooh, this one's somebody's name as well. So it often, often names don't follow the same rule either. And this one starts with a capital letter, so we can tell it's a name. Floyd, Floyd. Enjoy, enjoy. And again, this one we could chunk up, it's quite a long one. So I recognize this ing part at the end. You may recognize that it comes at the end of a lot of words. So we're gonna take that off. We've got another word on its own here. A, n, oi, annoy. I, n, ing, annoying. Sometimes we say our little brothers and sisters are annoying, aren't they? Well done if you got those. Right, we're gonna shuffle them up now and you can have a go at reading them on the screen. So I'm gonna hold them up, give you a second or two. You can pause the video if you need to, but see if you can get them before I say the words. Toy. Boy. Oh, this long one, I'll give you a second more just to chunk that up. Annoying. Capital letter gives this one away as a name. Floyd. Destroy. Another name with capital letter. Roy. Enjoy. Oyster. And last one, joy. Okay, hope you got on really well with those. Good job. Right, let's have a look. We have got some um, little activities to try now on the slides. So now we're a bit more familiar with some of those oi 
sounding words. We've got some here for you to have a go at reading. Um, as always, you could use sound buttons to help you with these. So if you need to write them down on a scrap of paper, use the sound buttons to help you to sound those out. And then you can decide once you've read them whether they are real words and go in the treasure chest or if they are nonsense words and need to go in the rubbish bin. OK, so I'm going to leave that on the screen. You can pause the video and have a go at working your way through those words using the oi sound. So you might want to use that sound button first to highlight all of the places that you can see the oi sound and then try and add the sound buttons for the remainder of the word to have a go at reading it. OK, so pause the video, have a go and then decide if they're real or nonsense words. OK. Let's have a look together. So the first one, b, boy, boy. Yep, so that's a real word, isn't it? We saw that on our flashcards. This one, f, l, oi, floy. No, not heard of that one. That's a nonsense word. This one, let's just get my pens back. S, k, r. Boy, scroy. Mm, what do you think? Yeah, nonsense word. That's not a real word. This one. Eh. Mm, ooh, oi. Employ. That is a real word. You might have heard of it. It's when um, you need to hire somebody to work for you. You employ them. Eh. Enjoy. Enjoy. Yeah, we've all heard of that one that goes in the treasure chest. The next one. Ah. Mm. If we get two letters the same together, we make one sound. Oi. Ah. Oi. Annoy. Yeah, we said, didn't we? We can annoy our little brothers and sisters and they might annoy us. D. I. S. Oh, boy, that's a long one, isn't it? Disploy. Mm, no, that's not a real one. And then last one. Gloy. Emgloy. What did you think? No, it's not a real word, is it? Employ, we said. Enjoy, but not emgloy. No. Okay, well done if you got all of those. Let's get rid of all these. As you can see from the ones that have left here, where we've where we've marked the diagraph, it's always at the end, isn't it? Mostly at the end of the word. So that's where you look, that's where you know to use that sound when you're spelling your words out rather than the um, O and the I that we often see in the middle of a word. Okay, so we're gonna have a go at reading some sentences now. So I've got some here. We'll work through the first one together. Um, we've got a couple more that I'll leave up on the screen for you to have a go at and then we're going to come back to this first one to have a go at writing yourselves. So using the sound buttons, let's have a go at sounding this out and then reading it together. K -a -n can, got a tricky word here, haven't we? Can you, this is the tricky part, can you a -n -oy, annoy a boy? boy can you annoy a boy oh definitely I can definitely annoy a boy no problem so hopefully you got that well done the next one I'd like you to have a go at so you can pause the video do the same as I've just done there visually add the sound buttons or you can copy it down onto a piece of paper to add your sound buttons and have a go at reading that Well done. So let's have a look together. W, I, O, will, a, r, o, i, a, o, royal, e, n, j, o, i, enjoy. We've got a diagraph here from phase three, uh, earlier in phase five, haven't we? E, t, i, n, eating, a, n, an. Oi -st uh, oyster. Will a royal enjoy eating an oyster? Well, possibly because they are eaten by quite 
posh people, but really, I don't know if they enjoy that or not. Right, we've got one more sentence for you to have a go at, and then we're going to go back to have a look at that first one and having a go at writing that together. You can pause the video to look at that last sentence. Okay, so it starts off the same way. What if or will, we're going to be asking a question here, aren't we? Will we do something? Will it, it, little tricky word, be, this part being the tricky part, be a oi annoying if, if a boy, boy, Boy destroys a toy toy. Will it be annoying if a boy destroys a toy? Yes, probably. But it's not always just boys, it is girls too. But yes, it would be annoying probably. Okay, well done if you got all of those. There were some tricky longer words in those as well. So we're going to have a try at write and have a go at writing one of these sentences now to put our um, phonics work into practice. So we'll have a go at this one, quite a nice and short one. Um, I want you to have a really good look at that first of all. We'll read it back through again together, and then I'm going to cover it over and see if you can um, have a go at writing it. So remember, k a n can. You, that tricky word, you, a, n, oi, annoy, a, b, oi, boy. Can you annoy a boy? Now you say it with me. Can you annoy a boy? You're going to have a go at writing it. So we need the capital letter at the beginning. It's a question this time, this sentence. So it needs a question mark at the end. Don't forget your finger spaces. Once you've written it, once you've had a go, go back and add your sound buttons so that you can check it. They're a good way to check that all of the sounds are making sense and they're all in the right places. Okay, look out for that oi sound. So read it with me one more time before I cover it over and you have a go at writing it. Can you annoy a boy? Can you annoy a boy? There's five words that you need to remember. Keep saying it as you go. Once you've written the first word, can, can you say it back to yourself again? Can you annoy? Can you annoy a? Can you annoy a boy? Okay, I'm going to cover it over. Pause the video and have a go. Okay, hopefully you had a really good go at that. Don't worry if you weren't too sure of any of those sounds or any of the words, because we can reveal it now to have a check how we got on. So go back and have a look at what you've written. Have you got the first part right? Did you remember your capital letter? If not, this is now the time to go back and make those changes. That's how we learn. We can make those changes now, can't we? Can. Now, have you remembered the tricky word, you? Can you annoy? It might have been tricky to remember that we needed two ends in that word. Annoy, ah, and then last word, boy ending with our oi sound and of course the question mark to end the sentence well done if you if you give, give that a really good go okay i'm going to leave you with an activity now to do for today so it's a question of looking at the pictures saying what you see in the picture and you'll you'll find the correct word to choose from in this list of words here in your word bank. Okay, so they're either using the oi sound um, that we saw in phase three with the o and the i. Some of them may be using that oi sound. So listen to where you hear that oi sound come in the word. If it comes in the middle of a word, it may be that you need the o and the i. So you can look out for that in the word bank. If you can hear the oi sound at the end of a word, it's likely to be the o and the y sound. So look out for those in the word bank. Give that a go. Write down the words that you find. You don't have to print this or anything. You can do that just on a piece of paper, writing them in the order that you see in the pictures. Once you've had a go at that, you can go on to Phonics Play using the login details here. Go to phase five under resources 
and then look out for buried treasure. If you select the oi sound, it will give you lots of different words to practice and then decide if they are real words or nonsense words. Have a really good go at that. Well done for today's work. See you in the next lesson.